Calx. I'm Rick, and today we're going to have a look at how to do roots on the Sharp EL501X calculator. To do this, we'll be using the second function key, the square root key, and the y to the x key. Second function is here, square root is here, and y to the x is right here. All right. To get started, if we want to square root a number, we simply place the number on the screen. So to find the square root of 25, we put 25 and then the square root key. This gives us the square root. That's correct. If we want to find a cube root, again, we place the number on the screen, then go second function of the square root, and this gives us the cube root. Now, if we want to find a root that isn't a square root or a cube root, what we need to use is the second function of the y to the x key. So, for example, if we want to find the fourth root of 81, we enter 81, and then the second function, y to the x key, and since we're finding the fourth root, we then press 4 and press equals. This gives us 3 which we know is correct. A couple more examples. We can confirm this y to the x root key works by trying it with the 25. So 25, second function, y to the x, 2. This should give us 5, because it's the square root. And it does. There we go. How about 10,000? Try this to the fourth root. So, second function, y to the x, 4 equals 10. There we go. So, it works. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests.